In this video, we will show you the main components of the report object and how to create a simple report in Factory Talk Optics. For this video, we will use a simple default project. First, we will create an object in the model folder by right clicking and going to New and then Object. Name the object Motor. We will now add three variables to the object. In the top right portion of the screen under Properties, click the plus and variable three times. Rename them Speed, Acceleration, and Torque. Drag Motor to the Model folder in the Type view to create the corresponding model type. Create a new folder by right-clicking the model folder and selecting New and Folder. Name it My Motors. Create three motor objects by dragging Motor Type under Type View into the newly created folder three times. Enter any values for the speed, acceleration, and torque parameters as shown for each instance of motor. Create a new report object by right-clicking on Reports and selecting New and Reports. In the Properties panel, you can set the properties of the PDF file you want to generate, including page size, style sheet, and margins. Expand Reports 1 and right-click Header and select New and Label. Open the Reports object in the UI Editor by double-clicking Reports 1. Place the header label in the center of the page by setting the horizontal alignment and vertical alignment properties to center. Add a data grid section by right-clicking sections and selecting New and Data Grid section. Assign the model of the data grid section to the My Motors folder by clicking Select Node to the right of the model dropdown. Now add three new text columns by pressing the plus button to the right of columns and selecting text columns three times. Set the titles to name, speed, acceleration, and torque. Create a dynamic link for the text property of the first column and expand aliases and item. Select the browse name for motor and click Select. Create a dynamic link for the text property of the second column and expand aliases, item, and motor. Select Speed and click Select. Repeat the past step for columns 3 and 4 with their respective title. Leave some space for the page header by setting the top margin property of the data grid section to 0 0.01 inches. Right-click Footer and select New and Label. To display the current page number, create a dynamic link for the text property and expand Reports and Reports 1. Now select Page Number. Right-click Footer and select New and Label. To display the generation date of the PDF, create a dynamic link for the text property and expand Reports and Reports 1. Now select Print Time.
Right-click footer and select New and Rectangle. Set the height property to 0.01 inches and horizontal alignment to stretch. This adds a line that separates the footer from the report section. Create a button by right-clicking main window and selecting New, Base Controls and Button. Set the text property to Generate Report. Click the plus sign next to Mouse Click Event and Expand Reports and Reports 1. Click Generate PDF and Select. Change the output path to C colon forward slash my reports forward slash my reports dot PDF and create a dynamic link with the locale ID under aliases session session and select the variable locale. Create a pop up in the UI folder by right clicking and selecting new containers and pop up. Right-click Pop-Up 1 and select New, Contents, and PDF Viewer. Set the path of the PDF Viewer to C colon forward slash my reports forward slash my reports dot PDF. Select the button under Main Window and click the plus sign aligned with events. Expand Reports and Reports 1. Select PDF Generated. Scroll down and click the plus sign aligned with the Reports 1 event. Expand Commands and UI Commands. Now select Open Dialog Window. Create a dynamic link with Dialog and select Pop-up 1. Save the project and run the emulator. The Generate Report button now generates a report and displays that report in a PDF viewer.